is a really a respiratory thing. Very rarely will the lab do them. I have them both uh, Well, very, <laughs> yeah. But the smaller labs, yes. Um, Highland does, I think uh, Breeze does. Um, Sparta, I know, does not. Uh, St. Elizabeth's does not. Memorial does not. And a lot of the bigger hospitals that, don't, that have a bigger respiratory department won't, won't do them. Um, but what we do do in the lab, okay, we do do CO2s on venous blood, and then we can compare as far as what the arterial is. There are times that, um, because potassium is intracellular, hemolysis affects a lot of things, okay. So one of the things that respiratory does do is measure a potassium along with their blood gases to make sure that they have a good specimen. Um, and so we're going to be talking about potassium as well. So when we talk, when you talk about respiratory, there's really four conditions that we worry about, okay, especially in the lab. is respiratory acidosis, respiratory alkalosis, metabolic acidosis, and metabolic alkalosis, okay? And we're going to go through that whole worksheet, and I'm going to tell you what the whole thing is, but, but it probably won't make a whole lot of sense until we go through a few other things. So the main thing with blood gases is, the two systems that affect the pH of your blood. Your pH of your blood wants to be 7.40. That's absolute normal, okay? 7.40. If it's anything um, but 7.35 to 7.45 is what we consider normal. That's the range. But your body always wants to be 7.4, okay? 7.40. For pH? Your pH, seven point is absolute normal, okay? So your body want because your enzymes are reliant on pH, right? A lot of body functions are reliant on, on pH. So your body is always gonna try to compensate to try to get it back to 7.40, okay? How it can do that, it's either going to affect your lungs or it's gonna be affected by your kidneys. CO2, which is what you exhale, correctly, correct, right, is an acid, okay? So if I have a condition where I am not breathing, is my blood going to get more acid? Yes, because I can't blow it off, right? Isn't that the function of your lungs, to get rid of that CO2, which is a waste product, right? So if I cannot breathe, the CO2 is going to stay in my body and my blood is going to be acid. Okay? So what are some conditions that would keep you from breathing? What, what would be that you can't breathe? Respiratory failure? Caused by what? Yes, it is respiratory pneumonia. failure. Pneumonia. Um, emphysema. Right? How about if you just have a really bad cold and you can't breathe, right? Okay? That's okay. Okay? So some diseases. And again, don't fill out your worksheet. I'm going to tell you what to put in your worksheet. I'm just giving you an overview so you understand where it all is, okay? So if you're, if you're not breathing, you're going to have acid stay in your blood. And, and your blood is going to become acid, so we call it acidosis. If it's because of my lungs, because I have pneumonia, because I have COPD, because I have emphysema, it's a respiratory acidosis. Does that make sense? It's your respiratory system that can't blow off the acid, so it's a respiratory acidosis. Okay? So if not breathing off your CO2 can cause you to have acid blood, what would, what, if I'm breathing too fast, what is that going to cause? Because you're blowing off too much CO2, right? So what's a condition that would cause you to breathe too fast? Hyperventilate. Hyperventilate. So again, crying, right? Or, hi, you know, in a hyperventilating situation, you're breathing too rapidly. So if I'm breathing too rapidly, Okay, 
you've probably seen it on TV, right? Oh, you're hyperventilating. What's the first thing they do? Give you a paper bag to blow into it. What is that doing for you? It's causing you to breathe the oh, CO2 back in and so you're, the oxygen. So you're breathing back the acid, right, to keep your body pH in sync. Make sense? Okay. So can you start breathing faster if I ask you to? Mm -hmm. Can you start breathing slower if I ask you to? Mm -hmm. So it's immediate, right? If I'm in a respiratory acidosis or alkalosis and I can control it, I can stop breathing or I can breathe slower. Or, you know, they tell you, calm down, you know, deep breath, calm, right? Don't they tell you that, right? Okay. If I was in an uh, ICU situation, is that not something an ICU nurse could go do to uh, change your ventilator? Could she not start making you breathe a little faster? She, could she not start making you breathe a little slower? So it's easily corrected, right? For the most part. Okay. If the other organ system that affects your blood pH are your kidneys, okay? Your kidneys excrete base or they excrete acid. You're learning that in your analysis, right? Your body kind of has a little bit of a brain and kind of decides what it wants to keep and what it doesn't, right? If I'm in kidney failure, I'm in trouble, right? It's not keeping the right amount of base. It's not keeping the right amount of acid. Can I tell you, make your kidneys work faster? Can I tell you to stop your kidneys? Okay. Breathing is immediate. Kidneys takes three to four days. So if I have a problem with my lungs, my kidneys are going to try to compensate. My kidneys are going to try to get my blood pH back to normal. Okay? If my kidneys are failing, my lungs are going to compensate. Again, which one's faster? The lungs be a whole lot faster. Okay? So there's four mechanisms that help you maintain your blood pH. Again, 7.35 to 4.5 is normal. 7.0 is what your body wants to get. The main system is your you're able to breathe, okay? Your ventilation, that's the main one, okay? And then there's three others that are lesser ones. But you understand, again, lungs are first, lungs you can control a whole lot easier than kidney, okay? So what's so what the four functions that we're gonna worry about? Respiratory acidosis, respiratory alkalosis, metabolic acidosis, and alkalosis. So if I measure your blood pH, and we know 7.4 is absolute normal. If I have a blood pH, a blood pH of 7.2, and I tell you this patient has emphysema, right? Is it respiratory or metabolic? And is it acid or something acid? Okay. Your blood pH is 7.8, and the patient is in kidney failure. Metabolic acidosis, metabolic alkalosis, respiratory acidosis. Okay, so do you understand how you're going to be able to tell which is which? Which system is failing, and your blood pH is going to tell you if they're acid or if they're alkaline. That's kind of an overview. It's going to be a little more difficult, but again, if you can understand that portion of it, hopefully it'll be a little helpful. Um, so, I'm not going to worry about getting through a PowerPoint in 10 minutes, there's no way. So next week, um, so this week we have three PowerPoints to get through, and they're three biggies. So I don't know if we'll get through them in two days. So um, come Friday, you will know whether or not your test will be next Wednesday for me, or if we can just, because we have the whole week next week, well not the whole week, but we have Wednesday through Friday, and we can always push it off until like Thursday or something, so, so we'll see. Um, I don't want to, I just don't want to fly through blood gases and, and acid base balance because um, it is a tough task and you want to know what you're doing. Um, we're going to, we'll, we'll, we will fill that out together completely and again, um, you know, because um, Alicia was gone and because Amanda's gone, I don't want them to miss out on that either and then I would just have to do the whole thing all over again because I can't just give them the answer key because that's not fair to you guys. <coughs>